Hey y'all, I've got a really easy one for y'all today. These I'm gonna call these fluffernutter cookies. So you wanna start with some Ritz crackers, some Jif peanut butter, some marshmallow cream, and then I use these Ghirardelli uh, chocolate melts. So what I'm gonna do is you're just gonna take as many Ritz crackers as you wanna do and just lay them out on your board. And then I've showed y'all this trick before. Take a little zip top bag and put it down in a glass and fold it over. And I'm gonna put some peanut butter in here. I'm gonna say maybe about a half a cup. I don't even know, cause I really didn't measure it. You're just gonna put some in the zip top bag for as many crackers as you wanna do. And then you're just gonna kinda twist the bag so it stays on one end. And then you're gonna do the exact same thing with the marshmallow cream. You're gonna take your bag down in your glass and then just put some marshmallow cream in there. Again, it might be about a half a cup or so. I'm not real sure, I didn't measure it. You can always add more to your bag if you run out. And you're just gonna get down in there and you're gonna take your, twist it so it won't go everywhere. Take your scissors and just cut one end of it off. So you got like a little piping bag. And then you're just gonna put a little bit on each cracker. And then you're gonna do the same thing with the peanut butter. You're gonna take your scissors and cut the tip of the bag off. So you can use it like a piping bag. And then just put some peanut butter on your cracker. And then all you're gonna do is you're just gonna take a marshmallow side and a peanut butter side and smush them together to make a little sandwich, y'all. Stop, look at that. Yum, I could eat it like that. Let me show you one more time. So you're just gonna take a marshmallow side and a peanut butter side and smush them together so that the, it all comes to the edges. So I'm gonna get the rest of these made up and then I'll show you what we got. Y'all check these out. Do they not look yummy? Got all that peanut butter and that marshmallow cream peeking out underneath those crackers. Y'all. Okay, so now we're gonna take our Ghirardelli chocolate wafer melts. Put these in a bowl and you're just gonna microwave these per the package. I think it says 30 seconds at a time until they're melted and smooth. I ended up using about a package and a half for this, for the chocolate melting wafers. So however many crackers you've got will depend on how much chocolate you need. And then you're just gonna drop the crackers in one at a time, kind of flip them over, tap the excess chocolate off, and just lay it on your parchment paper or wax paper, whatever you got. And then I'm gonna make mine a little festive. I got these sprinkles. So we're gonna just dot a few little sprinkles on top just to make them festive. Aren't they cute? Y'all look, they're so pretty. And look at all the little sprinkles. Are they not sweet? I love them. Y'all. Okay, y'all go make these. These are so good. So we're gonna taste test them. Hey y'all, so we're gonna try our little I'm gonna call them fluffernutters. I don't know what y'all wanna call them. It's marshmallow cream, peanut butter, and Ritz crackers, and they're dipped in chocolate. And I just made mine festive and put sprinkles on them. So yeah. Okay, here we go, ready? Okay, oh, Michael's here. We're gonna eat them. Ready, go. Hey, y'all. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all mm -mm. stop, look, oh my gosh. Mm. Guess who's gonna get that bite? That'll be Mabes. Okay. Oh my goodness. That's wrong. I mean, mm. that's seriously wrong. Mm -hmm. These are delicious. Mm -hmm. So I used to have, my mom made me one time a fluffernutter sandwich, which is just marshmallow fluff and peanut butter. This is close to that, but it's better because it's got chocolate on it. Yeah, these are stupid easy. Go make you some of these today. Um, yeah, they're really good. I'm gonna go finish this. Y'all have a good evening and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Love y'all. Bye.